for all the saints who from their labors rest, all who by faith before the world confessed your name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you opened your arms on the cross for the salvation of the world. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the glorious crown of your martyrs. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through, this, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught Saint Justin the martyr the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. On the night of Pentecost, after I had buried the dead, I, Tobit, went into my courtyard to sleep next to the country yard wall. My face was uncovered because of the heat. I did not know there were birds perched on the wall above me, till their warm dropping settled in my eyes, causing cataracts. I went to see some doctors for a cure, but the more they anointed my eyes with various salves, the worse the cataracts became, until I could see no more. For four years I was deprived of eyesight, and all of my kinsmen were grieved at my condition. Abiquir, however, took care of me for two years, until he left for Inez. At that time my wife worked for hire at weaving cloth, the kind of work women do. When she sent back the goods to their owners, they would pay her. Late in the winter, on the seventh of Dystrus, she finished the cloth and sent it back to the owners. They paid her the full salary and also gave her a young goat for the table. On entering my house, the goat began to bleat. I called to my wife and said, where did this goat come from? Perhaps it was stolen. Give it back to its owners. We have no right to eat stolen food. She said to me, it was given to me as a bonus over and above my wages. Yet I would not believe her and told her to give it back to its owners. I became very angry with her over this. So she retorted, where are your charitable deeds now? Where are your virtuous acts? See, your true character is finally showing itself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall, <coughs> excuse me, shall be mighty among, upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, till he looks down upon his foes. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting 
in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of your hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me in a, de a denarius to look at. They brought him one, and he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They replied to him, Caesar. So Jesus said to them, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel is filled with so many wonderful stories. I find it very interesting in that fear. I love to tell the school children this, is that there's always a little bit of humor in the reading sometimes. In the book of Tobit, we hear that Tobit becomes blind because of bird droppings falling in his eyes. And as we hear throughout the week, We'll hear how those eyes were healed again. But we also see human nature at work. His wife and him starting to bicker. And she questions all of the goodness that he did because he became so angry with her. But again, we have the gospel. We have that story of Jesus again in that conflict with the religious leaders of the day. And you know you're in trouble. When someone starts a conversation with you, giving you a high compliment. Teacher, we know you are a truthful man, and you're not concerned with anyone's opinion. And so once someone highly praises you, then they give you the zinger. And they ask you probably an, a question that you can't answer. And really, what they wanted to do was to trap Jesus. Because if he said that they should pay the tax to Rome, the Jewish people would consider him a traitor, for they were an occupying force. If he told them, do not pay the tax, then he would get in trouble with the law, and he would be arrested. So no matter which way Jesus answered that question, he was going to be in trouble with somebody. And then with that great wisdom of Jesus, he looked at the coin and he said, Give to God what is God's. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's. In other words, God's not interested in coins. God is interested in you. God is interested in yourself. He asks you to give of yourself back to him. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Justin Martyr. He was a man who lived very early in the church's life, probably in the year 165. He became a believer. He was baptized and converted. And he was a man of great wisdom, and he wrote several great treatises one of them giving one of the first descriptions of the early Mass. But because he was a believer, 
he suffered martyrdom just for being a Christian. So today, once again, we realize that our faith is based upon the blood of the martyrs for their faithful witness, for them giving to God what is God's. And that really is our very selves. Let us ask the Lord today that we too might have that very same conviction to offer to the Lord what is his. Let us place our needs before God. We pray today for the church throughout the world that she may preach the gospel with courage, with strength, with conviction. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world leaders that they will work together for the common good, establish peace throughout the globe in accordance with God's will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own nation, that we may be a people dedicated to human life from the moment of conception until natural death and for an end to abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and suffering in any way, for the lonely, for the oppressed, for the fearful, may they know the healing touch and promise of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, may they be welcomed into heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all your needs and intentions that we bring today to the altar in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries with St. Justin strenuously defended through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Justin, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, for with, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way. When supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other that wave of God's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teachings of St. Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remain with you forever. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You were their rock, their fortress, and their might. You, Lord, their captain in the well-fought fight. You, in the darkness, drew their one true light. 